Welcome back to our channel. If you've ever been curious about the origins of the Indian people according to the Bible, I present to you another intriguing question. Have you ever wondered about the mysterious origins of the Gypsy people? They have a fascinating and curious history. Let's explore their intriguing past together, delving into the Bible, genetics, and the history of different peoples and ethnicities. In this episode of our series, we will investigate the origin of Indians and Gypsies, shedding light on their captivating history. If you're already familiar with our series, please show your support by leaving a like. For those who are new, stick around until the end. If this video resonates with you, leave a like and subscribe to ensure you don't miss our future videos. Now, let's dive into another episode of our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. According to the ancient Indian sacred texts known as the Vedic texts or Vedas, there are mentions of a people called Daisha, whom the Indus civilization faced and fought against. These Daisha people were described as having dark skin. The native peoples of India also have darker skin tones, which provides evidence of their origins as descendants of the sons of Noah, particularly from Ham's lineage. The inhabitants of southern India, who are considered to be descendants of Ham, represent the origin of the Indians. In other words, Indians originally come from the Hamitic lineage, which is evident in their skin tone. However, there has also been a significant intermixing with a light-skinned ethnic group called the Aryans. This Aryan tribe, most likely composed of fair-skinned, light-eyed people, originated around 3,700 years ago. The Japhethite tribe, to which the Aryans belong, also gave rise to other peoples. If you're interested, I will provide a link in the description to a video about the origin of the white peoples of Europe, who come from the Japhethite lineage. Due to the intermingling between the Hamitic and Aryan peoples, an ethnic division occurred in India. The north of the country became inhabited by people with lighter skin and blue or green eyes, while the south was predominantly inhabited by people with darker skin. This significant intermixing of peoples was the result of their interaction. For example, in the image provided, we can see a black woman with blue eyes, which demonstrates the mixing and intermingling that took place in India around 1700 BC. In 500 BC, light-skinned Aryan invaders dominated India, resulting in a combination of Hamitic and Japhethite heritage among the Indian population. It's also important to highlight the influence of Tagarma, considered the father of the Asians, who had a small influence on some Indian groups. This Asian influence from Tagarma could have occurred before the intermixing between the Aryans and Japhethites around 1700 BC, as many black-skinned Indians already had straighter hair, which indicates this origin. In summary, Indians are originally descendants of Ham, which is evident in their naturally black skin tone. Their lineage can be traced back to the sons of Noah, specifically the Hamites. Additionally, the strong intermixing with the light-skinned and light-eyed Aryan peoples contributed to the formation of India, with the northern region being inhabited by a population with brown, white, and yellow skin tones, while the southern region consists of people with darker skin tones, reflecting their Hamitic heritage. Now, let's shift our focus to the origin of a people who share great genetic similarity with Indians, the Gypsy people. This mysterious group of people has settled in various countries across Europe, Brazil, Turkey, Egypt, and others. Despite being a nomadic community, the origin of the Gypsy people has been a great enigma for many centuries. Only a few knew where they truly originated from. The Roma language, Romani, is an unwritten language without a formal writing system. Furthermore, many gypsy customs involve forgetting the past and even burning historical records, making the discovery of their origin even more challenging. Over the centuries, there have been many speculations about the origin of the gypsies. Did they come from Egypt, Persia, Morocco, Romania, Albania, 
or even the Ottoman Empire. Many theories and assumptions were raised about the region where these people originated, but everything was very controversial. However, from the 18th century onwards, Europeans began to more systematically study Roma languages, including Romani. They determined that the language spoken by European gypsies belonged to the Aryan branch and the Indo-European languages branch. These discoveries helped to shed light on the origin of the Roma people. In other words, linguistic researchers determined that the Romani language, Romani, belonged to the Indo-European languages, which includes regions such as Persia and especially India. This means that the primary origin of Roma people is in North India, where the Indian language and its variants are spoken. Over time, other languages mixed with Romani due to the nomadic nature of the Roma people, who migrated from country to country and state to state. This migration led to interactions with other peoples, such as the Persians and even the Arabs, who also have the habit of frequently moving from one region to another. Thus, the Gypsies ended up incorporating influences from these peoples into their culture. For example, there are Gypsies in Turkey, Egypt, and other nearby regions where there has been some mixing with Persians and Arabs. However, this mixing was minimal and not predominant. The Gypsies' origin remains North Indian, which means that they are actually an Indian people who mixed with Persians and Arabs before settling in Europe, including the Iberian Peninsula and other European regions, before arriving in Brazil, where there are many Gypsies. There are three major groups or branches among the Gypsies, the Ram, the Kalan, and the Sindhi. The first document mentioning Gypsies was recorded in 1426, although there are earlier mentions in ancient Persian texts. However, certainty about the origin of the Gypsies was only obtained through genetic tests carried out in 2012 and published in a scientific journal. In these tests, the DNA of 152 individuals from 13 different groups of Gypsies was analyzed, and the conclusions confirmed what the linguistic analyses already indicated, all the results pointed to India as the starting point and origin of the Gypsies. According to genetic tests, Roma traced their origin directly to northern India, more specifically to the Punjab region, close to Pakistan. Now, why did they leave North India and disperse to various parts of the world? They are believed to have fled northern India due to the invasion of the lands where they live by the armies of Sultan Mahmud Ghazni. In the United States, there are several Gypsy or Roma communities scattered across the country. These communities are made up of different Roma groups and clans, each with their own specific traditions, languages, and backgrounds. The Roma, also known as the Romani, are one of the most prominent Roma groups in the United States. They originate from North India and have migrated to different parts of the world over the centuries. The Roma community in the United States preserves its culture, traditions, and Romani language. There are also other gypsy communities and tribes that can be found in different parts of the United States. Each of these tribes has its own histories, traditions, and cultural identities, contributing to the ethnic and cultural diversity of the country. In Brazil, one of the countries with the largest gypsy community, for example, the first gypsies to arrive were the Kalan, about 574 people coming from Portugal and Spain. Then came the Roma from Turkey and Greece, and later the Sindhi from Germany after World War II. Therefore, the biblical origin of the Gypsies dates back to the descent of Japheth since they came directly from northern India where there are lighter skin tones. However, they also have their Hamitic ancestry, which explains why many Gypsies have a brownish skin tone, whether it be light or darker. This indicates their Hamitic origin, making them descendants of both Japheth and Ham. This is the biblical origin of both Indian and Gypsy peoples according to the Bible. I hope you all enjoyed and followed until the end. I ask you to leave your like and comment if you have a Gypsy or Indian origin, specifying which Gypsy branch you belong to, 
whether from the Kalin or any other branch. Thank you all for watching this far, and until the next video in our series on the origin of peoples according to the Bible from Genesis chapter 10. Also, leave your suggestion for the next videos. See you soon.